What happened? What do you mean? I mean, what occurred? Well, I don't know. Nothing really occurred. She was dead, and they wouldn't let us take her. Well... The coroner came and took her. Did you go into the house? Yeah, I believe so. Did you see Monroe's body? Yeah. Where was it at the time? Uh, she was on the bed. Hanging off the bed or something. You recall whether she was on her back or her stomach? Side. She was on her side. Her, yeah, I believe she was on her side. See, yeah, it seems to me she was on her side. Did either one of you touch her body? No, I didn't. Do you I know if your know partner if did? did? Seems to me he did. Do you know what he did? Uh, I checked her just to see if she did or what, and I think that she was, I think she was pretty cold at that time. She was blue in any particular portion of her body? Um, her, I think, I don't, even, I don't really remember if it was her neck or her side, you know, that she was laying on or what. It was, it, but it seemed to me like, well, let's put it this way, I could stand across the room and tell that she was dead. Okay. Let me, uh, let me relate a story to you that uh, we've received information uh, from a person that uh, an ambulance attendant was summoned to the residence that uh, when the ambulance attendant, his partner, arrived, the only person there was a uh, female standing outside screaming. And that the attendant went in and found Marilyn Monroe on the bed, removed her from the bed and began CPR or closed chest massage. And that uh, in the process of doing this, that she started to come around, you know, to regain consciousness. And a doctor came in and plunged a needle into the area of her heart and thereafter pronounced her dead. Does that f sound familiar at all? There were apparently quite a volume of pills that were discovered at her death at her bedside. Yes. Do you recall looking at a list of those pills and were they all no. prescribed by you? No, only one had been prescribed by me. Uh, I had prescribed Nembutal to help her sleep, but as I recall, to the best of my ability, after it, I was surprised to see at the side of her bed a large number of other sleeping pills which looked like Secanol, which she had apparently purchased on a recent trip to Mexico. It's my understanding that in Mexico in those days you could walk into any pharmacy and buy them any tranquilizers or sleeping pills you wanted. There certainly were lots of other pills that I had not prescribed. Well, I specifically. I didn't notice, notice that specifically. I know that the coroners told me after that they had found evidence of barbiturates and chloral hydrate. I knew nothing about any chloral hydrate. I never used chloral hydrate. So you wrote her prescription for Nebutal only? That was it. It's the only prescription I wrote. For sedatives, huh? Did you go to her, to her house? Oh, sure. Immediately? Immediately. Do you recall so the time? What? Do you recall the time? I didn't think, you know, of looking at the exact time, but I recall that it must have been in the general area of 3 a.m., maybe 2.30, somewhere in that area. The reason I'm asking is, as you probably know, there's a discrepancy in the times that you were called. Uh, one person was saying it was no, around Dr. midnight, another one was saying it was around 3 a.m. Dr. Greenson was called first, and he got there first. I think I was called around 2.30 to 3 o'clock. It wouldn't have been around midnight? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Did you then go into Marilyn's bedroom? Yes. What did you see then? She was sprawled over the bed. She was dead. Okay. When you say I sprawled, mean, I, that, when you say sprawled, in the, what position was she actually in? I don't recall exactly what position she was in. 
I knew that I had to be, since I was the intern, if I took out my stethoscope and listened to make sure her heart wasn't beating, checked her pupils because that's one of the sensitive ways to tell if a person is dead or not. I said she was dead, which of course Dr. Greenson knew anyway, but I had to go through the motions. Was there a reason why there was a delay of half an hour, or do you consider it was a delay? We were stunned. We were talking over what happened, what she had said. Ordinarily, when you pronounce somebody dead, you don't call the police. You call the mortician. I was the one who, I guess, eventually said, gee, I think in this case we better call the police.